Hello world, we are reaching the actual conclusion of this, uh, well, the first part of this series. The Hello World series was meant to give a beginner to intermediate users a nice walkthrough on how to remove all the junk from their computer. So I just want to do a big time overview here and give yourselves a little, a nice little uh, maintenance convenience window uh, so we can go through your maintenance utilities once you've cleaned everything out once a month. I usually suggest everybody does this once a month. Now I separated these for uh, for a different purpose, but uh, <clears throat> for those of you who haven't watched my previous videos and my channel, uh, PC Michiana channel, which you can click on my username to get there, um, we've basically gone over uh, adjusting your Windows startup so that you can get a faster startup speed. We've talked about using AVG Free. Uh, Avist Home Edition is also fantastic for your antivirus instead of Norton or McAfee. Uh, we've gone through three spyware removal tools, of which are I have shortcuts on my desktop too right now. Malware bytes, anti-malware, SpyBot, and uh, the third one is um, super anti-spyware. And then we used a piece of software, an awesome piece of software called uh, <coughs> Advanced System Care to clean out your registry and repair it. And then we used a even uh, just as awesome piece of software called Smart Defrag to defragment your hard drive. Now we're just going to go over the complete maintenance package that basically we've created for ourselves. And I want to make you a nice little convenient window to do that. Now let's start by going to your documents. And uh, ignore the fact that I have everything open down there. I'm just going to do a quick overview on what you guys need to do for your maintenance. Uh, in your documents, just create a new folder. Right click, click new, click folder. Call this one men, uh, maintenance. Now I don't know about you, but I don't like to have a whole bunch of uh, uh, shortcuts on my desktop. So we're going to go ahead and use this maintenance folder and we're going to open it up. Now what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag all my maintenance files, in my maintenance shortcuts into the maintenance folder. So now they're not on my desktop anymore. So for convenience sake, I can either just access this straight from my documents or what I like to do for people, for clients especially, is you take this folder, like I've gone back out of the folder and the folder's still in my, in my documents. You drag this folder over to the side of your uh, windows and it'll create a nice little uh, shortcut system here. Now these aren't sorted right now, but I like to sort them by the order in which they need to do them. First let me make it look a little better. Right click, remove show text, and then go ahead and make it a little smaller on the, on the left or right side. Right click, I always remove the title. And now basically if you highlight over it, you can still see what each piece of software is. So according to our order of operations, first we ran AVG free, then we ran um, uh, we ran mal malware bytes, malware bytes anti malware, and then we ran uh, SpyBot. Oops, we ran SpyBot. So let me drag SpyBot up here, and then we ran Super Anti Spyware. Then we ran Advanced System Care, and then Smart Defrag. So we have basically a whole little quick menu over here of all the utilities that we used. Now. I don't like it to always be on top, see how it's always showing. If you right click and use auto hide, then it's nice and out of your way. And it'll only show up when you drag your mouse over to the right hand side. Now let me disable that feature real quick so I can show you how to add uh, additional icons onto that. Here's a little trick that I learned. Let me go ahead and open up that, uh, that, my, uh, that maintenance folder again. And you can create a shortcut and literally call it uh, lead it to any folder you want. Uh, just pick anything on your computer, literally. Just go ahead and I'll just go ahead and do my computer and um, the C drive and click OK. Click Next. I title this Spacer Finish. And now what this is, is this is what I call a spacer. Notice it put a little hard drive icon over here on my menu. I, w I like to right click this and you can click Properties and then Change Icon. And then what you can do is just scroll over to the blank ones. So I, I just choose a blank one, click OK, click Apply. And now I have a little blank spacer over here. So what I can do is I can copy and paste that as many times as I want. But if I want to get everything off of my desktop and put it in there, I can do that. So And I can actually have them separated. So let's say I want my video stuff on that I shortcut desktop too. Now when I drag it over there, it's separated. So that I don't have to uh, you know, worry about making sure everything is... <clears throat> You know, I can make it look nicer, I guess is really the only reason. So now I want another spacer, so I can just copy, uh, right click, copy, right click, paste. And then now I got another spacer, so then I can drag my other utilities down here. Desktop Manager, Google Chrome, 
I'm not going to put these in any particular order. <clears throat> and then uh, Firefox. And then uh, when I'm done, I'll just delete these shortcuts off my desktop. <clears throat> so now we got a nice little cool maintenance toolbar over here and uh, start menu toolbar. And my desktop looks much cleaner. Let me put this back on auto hide. <clears throat> and then there we go. Anytime I need to run an application, I just go to the right hand side. Now, for those of you, uh, the basic maintenance idea is this. I'm not even going to spend a lot of time on this. Again, I'm trying to keep these videos relatively short now. We're going in order. We start with AVG, Malware Bytes, SpyBot, uh, Super Anti Spyware, Advanced System Care, and then Smart Defrag. AVG, AVG you're going to open it up. You're going to click Update Now, and then you're going to do a computer scan. Simple enough, right? And then when you're done with that, do Malware Bytes Anti Malware. Click Update, check for updates, Scanner. Do the quick scan, scan. <clears throat> when that's done, SpyBot, search for updates, download the updates, immunize, and then search and destroy, check for problems, repair. And then we're gonna open Super Anti Spyware, check for updates. Uh, when it's done updating, scan your computer, and then do the quick scan. Smart Defrag, do uh, analyze, select the analyze option. It'll recommend what type of optimization to use. Do fast optimize, click start, let it do its whole thing. Oh, I'm sorry, we do this one actually after advanced system care. I had them out of order down here. Advanced system care, open that, click update down here in the right hand corner, download the updates, and then do the maintain windows run, scan and repair, and then a diagnose system scan and repair. I talk more detail about that on another video. And then <clears throat> when you're done with that, then you do the smart defrag, analyze, it'll tell you what which one to run, Fast optimize, start, and then run through the whole defrag. And that's pretty much it. You run through your whole maintenance sequence. You got a nice little maintenance toolbar here so you can remember what order they go in. Do it at least once a month. If you're a heavy downloader, you may want to do it more frequent than that. Avoid the smart scans and the quick scans if you feel that there's a problem on your computer. Thanks all. Thank you all for stopping by. Let me remind you that on my YouTube channel, which you can get just by clicking on my username on the right-hand side, Please subscribe. It's uh, very encouraging when I know people are learning something and when they uh, find it useful. Uh, you can watch all the episodes in the series on the uh, Hello World, World series. It's all in HD. If it's not showing in HD on here, click on the video. It'll let you watch it in HD. After you've, <clears throat> after you've done that, I also encourage you guys, if you need the downloads that I just talked about, go to my website, pcmichiana.com. I have links to all the downloads in the bottom right-hand corner under free maintenance software. You can download every piece of software I've talked about in my videos there, and it'll redirect you to download.com so you get fast download speeds. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope this helps some of you out.